welcome to the groundbreaking ceremony for the Netherland Inn flat boat. I'm Bobby Phillips. I'm steering committee chair for the Netherland Inn Association. We're here today because of the kindness of Bill Taff, who so graciously has volunteered to build and donate a replica flat boat for the Netherland Inn. Thank you, Bill, for this wonderful donation. Through the course of events, several people have become involved in this project. Besides the donor, Bill, Alex Looney has been his right-hand man with research, meetings, and just plain doing a lot of legwork. The City of Kingsport, Mayor Dennis Phillips, City Manager John Campbell, and Assistant to the City Manager Chris McCart. Chris has been the go-to person with TVA permits, Greenbelt boards, and the BMA, and just to answer questions from David Oaks and myself. And I cannot forget our host of volunteers that work at the Netherland Inn Association. Without them, none of this would be possible. Um, Alex Looney is going to come forward and give us a overview of the flatboat project. Alex? Okay, Bobby, so far as an overview, uh, I can make that very short. Uh, as you can see, we have it staked out. Uh, Greg Hensley, Tri City Green, is going to help us and uh, with the grading and then the paving will be done and then we're still putting together a crew this is going to be very interesting because this is going to be built as close to authentic as possible which will probably be 99 percent we'll try to hide the other percent uh but we're we think it will be uh very interesting uh, first the significance of the flat boat most of you here i'm preaching to the choir because you already know uh that uh King's Port was the furthest north port, and Mr. King built it so he could ship salt uh, down the Tennessee River and all the way as far as New Orleans. And this became King's Port. I've made the uh, assumption that if 20 miles up the river we could have, uh, he could have put the boats in the water, that would have been King's Port. So you can pretty much attribute to the name of our city to the flatboat. Now, I do want to read one thing because I don't think I can say it any better than this. Uh, incidentally, uh, this comes from a 120-page research book that uh, architect Luther Kane put together for us. Uh, and this gives the real significance of this flat boat and why we're doing it. Perhaps no other craft that ever moved on land or sea provided such episodes and contrasts, such diverse pictures of tragedy and revel as did the flat boats in which the vast host of floating pilgrims travel the interior rivers of America. Probably a million people lived in them for weeks at a time during journeys from 300 to 2,000 miles. They were built by tens of thousands, yet not one of them remains. There is a small chance for future Americans to ever to see an example of the quaint boats into which men, women, children, horses, pigs, chickens, cows, dogs, kegs of powder, furniture, salt, whiskey and iron and more including farm implements to uh, settle other places all loaded and jumbled together to float down the rivers to somewhere that's the flatboat well there were only three rivers as the article said they could do it the significance of this of course is there is no flatboat anywhere this will be the first if not the only and you heard that line in there that said, uh, uh, said perhaps no one will ever have the opportunity to see one. Well, they will have the opportunity to see one. And the only last thing uh, I'd like to say is when they were giving credit for knowing a lot about these flat boats, Luther Kane and I have learned a lot, but before it even happened, Bill Taft had already done the research, already been to Saltville, and already conceived the idea. So. If someone gets to be an expert, Bill was the first expert, and Bill, we sure appreciate it. Thank you, Bobby. I think Mayor Phillips has a few words now. Fall in the hole. 
You know, there's nothing worse than a politician, or there's nothing more than a politician hates and someone trying to make him look good, or her. And Bill Taft called me months and months ago and said, I want to make a substantial donation to the Boys and Girls Club, and I want to make sure you get credit for it. And uh, I said, Bill, I don't want to do that. Let's don't do it. But he insisted, and we did. Uh, you know, there's many volunteers standing here, and Kingsport is really blessed with thousands and thousands of volunteers. And I realize this more every time when we appoint someone to the Planning Commission, the Zoning Commission. I mean, we've got commissions and boards after board and commission after commission. And we have the most qualified people serving on these boards and commissions, every one of them without pay. The Netherlands Inn Exchange Place Association is no different. These people, I get to know this through Bobby, they spend hundreds, literally thousands of hours volunteering to make this a better place. When we have a person like Bill Taft that comes forward and he calls you again and he says, I want to build a boat. And I said, well, that's no big deal. He said, but I want to build a flat boat. And I said, well, that's no big deal either. He said it's 60 feet long and 14 feet wide and that the lumber has to come from Washington and all that. I said, that's a big deal. Uh, then when you told me the cost, it got to be an even bigger deal. But you know, the most important thing about having a person like Bill Taft and the more I'm in government, the more I realize this. I can guarantee you that by be this flat boat being built with private donation from Mr. Bill Taft, that this is the only groundbreaking that you will attend for the flat boat ceremony. Now, in retrospect, if you look across the street, there's a bank barn being built with government grants. I think I've already attended three groundbreakings. And I'm not sure we have the money all locked up yet. But that, the problem is that could have been built for a $250,000 grant when it was first done. We'll be lucky to get it built for 600000 now that Five, six years have went by while we wait on the government to give us the grant. Bill Taff, if you'll come up here and you can't avoid it, I'm, I'm going to embarrass you one way or the other, so come on over here and stand beside me. First of all, for your sincere loyalty and the love that you have for Kingsport, Tennessee, I think it's only fitting, and this is something that we normally don't do for local people and probably don't do enough for local people, but on behalf of the Board of Mayor and Alderman and all the citizens of Kingsport, the first thing I want to present to you is a key to the city of Kingsport, Tennessee. And secondly, I would like to present a proclamation issued on behalf of the Board of Mayor and Alderman that states that Mr. Bill Taft moved to Kingsport some 44 years ago on a leap of faith with nothing more than a willingness to work and a Volkswagen band, van. I remember when we had those, did you have it all? Did you have all the hippie stuff on it or did you no, just? I don't I didn't know you could have a Volkswagen, playing Volkswagen band. That band is worth about $150. It'd be worth about 25000 today. From these humble beginnings, Bill Taft demonstrated all the finest traits of those who have moved to Kingsport forward from its very founding, including diligence, hard work, and determination. And whereas working up to four jobs at one time, Bill Taft built the foundation of a very successful business enterprise in property development and real estate. Bill Taft, now retired, has shown himself in philanthropy, privately assisting numerous individuals, projects, 
with, and projects with his generosity, while underpinning efforts to improve the Boys and Girls Club and Netherland Inn, all in an effort to give back to Kingsport. Whereas it seems fitting and proper to honor a citizen who has led an exemplary life of this duty groundbreaking for the flat boat project that would be would not be reality without his charity. Therefore, as mayor of the city of Kingsport, and on behalf of the Board of Mayor and Alderman of the city of Kingsport, I do proclaim today, Monday, June 16, 2008, as Bill Taft Day in Kingsport, and ask all our fellow citizens to join me in honoring Bill Taft on his special day in Kingsport, and give him a big round of applause for all he's done. Now we promised Bill that we would not get him up here and make him say a lot and, uh, and, and do a lot of things, but you know how politicians' promises are. <laughs> Bill, just to be blunt, I lied to you. <laughs> You're going to have to say a word or two, but thank you so much for making... Bill is 100% underwriting the cost of this flat boat, and I don't think that you really appreciate what this is until after you see it built and see it here. And, and Alex didn't tell you it's up in 53 feet long, how wide. And uh, I can hardly wait uh, to see this sitting at this location. And hopefully the river uh, won't wash it away. And I guess we, uh, we, we were going to do this about a year ago, Bill, but you know we had to get through all the permitting process. But just, just say a word or two. Well, then it's... Uh... You are my mayor. Uh, I don't think I deserve all that stuff you talk about. I, uh, all that publicity, I've, I've got more than I want, I think. Uh, but it's nice, and uh, gosh, I treasure this key very, very much. I've heard of those all of my life, and never expected to get one. But, uh, Thank you. These people have just being instrumental in helping us to get through so much and everything and um, I just want to let them be part of the groundbreaking festivities here on turning the ground. John's been involved with um, Netherland Inn on the bank barn over there and as Dennis says I, I do think he's dug in that ground several times. So if you, so if you, you all will come forward. Um,